Good morning, Booktube. This is Kelly, um, and the name of my channel is Books I'm Not Reading. And the video I'm making today about Catcher in the Rye is one of the videos that I wanted to make um, from the very beginning. Like, it was one of the, my first ideas for a video. So I have two questions for you today. I'm really hoping that we'll have a lot of conversation and dialogue in the comment box below, but I have a major birthday coming up. I would love if it was my 30th birthday, but it's not. And so I've been thinking about, you know, um, well, this is the book that I always think about, like Catcher in the Rye. I don't know how I missed it, but I never had to read it for a class. Uh, I never, yeah, it's never required reading. And even though it's on every summer reading table, a book table across the you know country right now. I I never picked it up. I just never did. Um, and so part of me is wondering if I'm just like if the moment to read this book, where it would have meant a lot to me, has passed. Um, should I read this book or should I not read this book? Um, and that kind of leads me to the the bigger, larger question, which is, do books expire? I mean, do they, not expire, that's kind of a joke in our family, but like, is there a certain point in your life where really a book will no longer have the same meaning that it might have had once upon a time? Or, you know, or should you always be able to read Catcher in the Rye, regardless of what age you are and have it resonate with you? And we did have, um, Jason and I had one of our mutual friends read Catcher in the Rye, I don't know, within the last five years or something like that, probably. And yeah, he just didn't, he wasn't into it. Like he, and he kind of felt like, yeah, it might be the moment to read it. Um, had passed, was over. Like, he didn't, you know, didn't connect with the characters or the story. So, are, is that is that a thing? Like, is that possible with books? Um, and actually, when I started having a conversation about this with someone, I heard about another book. <sighs> this one's a doorstopper. Uh, the Golden Notebook by Doris Lessing and that a lot of people had said like no this was like the formative book and also a book that you know there's like a window of time to read it in. I have a hard time believing with this one that there's a, a specific window of time but I could be wrong. I haven't read it. It sounds great. Um, but on the same token there are a couple books. Um, I do read children's books and YA um, and so within the last, again, several years, there have been a couple books that I've read. Again, I don't know how I missed The Hobbit growing up, especially because my mom, uh, definitely had a science fiction and fantasy phase, and, uh, <laughs> so I don't know why, the, I don't know if this book was around and I just missed it. I'm sorry, I should get closer. This is... Of course, Jason's super beautiful, fancy edition of The Hobbit. But I read The Hobbit as an adult, and I was just like, what's the big deal? Like, the most interesting character is the dragon. And if you've read it, you know he's not in the book for a terribly long time, which sucked. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I loved the dragon. Um, so I was kind of like, what's the big deal? On the same token, though, I mean could make it this, the argument about this, about Harry Potter. And in truth, I did not read, I did not start reading these until college. I know there are many young booktubers out there who this will have been, you know, a turning point for them or maybe the Twilight series where they really just suddenly started reading everything. Um, and I, I don't think, yeah, I'm not sure, like, how, um, I, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I love these. I mean, I, I have read them frequently. Um, I love the movies. And so, yeah, like, I mean, we can talk about Harry Potter another time, but 
Anyway, so it's not just, it's not a YA thing, right? I mean, because I can still read these as an adult and get a, a tremendous amount of enjoyment out of it. Another book, and I tried to check this out from the library yesterday, but because it's summer reading, there's not a copy to be found anywhere. Um, I read A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle, and I just, I mean, honestly, it was the kind of book I, I closed the covers, and when I was done, and I'm like, I have no idea. Like, what was that book about? Like, I, I don't get it at all, at all, at all. It makes no sense to me. Um, so maybe some of you can clear that up. But again, the big question is like, you know, this one, like, seems like a classic and Salinger is sort of a fascinating author. I, I am really curious. Jason and I keep waiting for like a moment where there's going to be all the Salinger published that, you know, he's been, that he had written in the um, last half of his life and, and uh, I've just been waiting for, waiting for the right moment for it to come out. Like that would be really cool. But I, this does seem to me like an important book and there is a certain amount of book guilt too, like to not be able to say like, oh, I have I haven't read The Capture in the Right. But, yeah, so I just, I'm like, am I going to like it? Am I going to, is it worth it? Is it worth the time? And I realize it's a pretty slim book. Hey, kitty. I got a kitty cat in my, uh, at my feet. So my question to you is, A, should I read this? Do you think I would still enjoy it and appreciate it and value it as a piece of literature and the story and the characters? kind of thing and do you think like do you think that there is a moment where yeah like should we be able to read a book at any point in our life and have it still be valuable <laughs> there's the cat in the back um so should we be able to read a book at any time or are there certain things that if we wait too long we just miss we miss that magical moment to connect. So I'm really, really curious to hear your thoughts about this. I hope that you will comment below and tell me what you think. Um, and again, I do want an answer like, tell me yes or no. Should I start? Should I read this? Um, uh, I, I can't get to it now, even if you all resoundingly tell me yes, because um, I uh, am reading something else at the moment. but. Uh, and it's going to take me a while, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so what, what do we think? What's the consensus book to talk to me about Catcher in the Rye? Um, thanks so much for watching. I love the comments. I know I said, I think initially I was only going to make one video a week, but this video, I just really, really, it's been in my system and I've wanted to get the question out there. So. I am so excited to see your comments and responses and I uh, hope we start a great dialogue down below. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon, booktube. Bye.